Today I'm going to make a winter chicken pie and instead of pastry on the top or standard mashed potato for a shepherd's pie, we're using these little babies. And I've asked my friend from the Vegetable Connection, Sam, to come along and talk about these because they're very interesting, aren't they, Sam? They look like ginger, but what are they? They're not. They're Jerusalem artichokes, yes. Justine. Perfect for winter, aren't they? They're in that's season. That's when they're in season. And they've almost got a taste of a globe artichoke, don't yeah. they? Well, that's it's because um, they're not actually an artichoke, you're right. They're not. No. Originally from uh, North America, yep. it's from the sunflower family. Mm. But Italians, the word for sunflower is girasol. So when the Italians came to America, uh, the Americans started calling them Jerusalem. Yep. And they have the flavour of artichokes. Artichokes. So that's so, how the name, because it's always really complicated. People don't understand why they're called that. Yeah, and... but it's, it's a, it's a <laughs> root vegetable. Yep. Um, and they're pretty close to a potato. Exactly. Fantastic. Yep. Well, we're going to be using them for the top of our pie today. And I'm going to be using some free-range chicken thighs. OK, so I've got some that I've already prepared. And here we go. And what we want to do is place that in a bit of flour. So I'll just get you mm -hmm. to pass the flour over. Yep. There we go. And what, this is going to help thicken the sauce. So I'm just going to lay some pieces down. You can see here what I've done is I've just taken the thigh, I've just removed all the fat or majority of the fat, yep. and then cut them in four, OK? What I'll get you to do is sprinkle on yep. that flour. And sure we'll just thing. dust that. OK. All right, you've got the dirty hands, go. <laughs> oh, all right, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Vegetable Connection, man. Doesn't touch Vegetable the chicken. Doesn't touch the chicken. <laughs> what I'll get you to do is start peeling those Jerusalem artichokes that you brought in for yeah, me. Yeah, sure. And the potato. Now, we're adding a potato to this mash, aren't we? Because yeah. there's not much um, starch in there. Yeah, you it's really not like have a potato. to. But that's the great thing about Jerusalem artichokes is because there's no starch that doesn't convert to sugar, you can feed these to diabetics. They really? will love them. Yep. OK, great. So what I'm doing here is just cooking this chicken thigh. What I might get you to do, Sam, is can you pass me some salt yep. and uh, some pepper, please? Sure. And I'm just going to season that. OK. And I'm just going to get some nice colour on each side of this chicken. We're going to turn it over and then we're going to remove it and then we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. Yep. OK, so it's a really easy way to do a chicken pie. And by all means, you can put pastry on top. I've done it with puff pastry or just potatoes. But I thought, you know, why not do something a little bit different, a little bit special by finding these Jerusalem artichokes and, you know, celebrating them in, in winter because it's a winter vegetable. That's it. Yeah. Well, I've got a pot here of cold water mm -hmm. and we're going to add them with the potato, bring them to the boil, then we're going to strain them and then mash it. Just a little bit of butter and a, just a touch of milk. It probably don't, it doesn't even need it, does it? Not really, because they will collapse. So even put your potato on first mm. before you do the Jerusalem artichoke. Great. Well, I'm going to continue browning this off. Mm -hmm. And then after you finish those, yep. can I get you to dice that onion? No worries. And then we can start sauteing that off after the chicken. Cool. I think a lot of people, when they do a pie like this, they don't cook the chicken right. You can see all the nice colour on that, yeah. which is flavour. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing this at home, seal off the meat really well, OK? Yeah. Can I get you to finely chop the leek? Yeah. That would be lovely. These have been prepared beautifully, by the way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's very important to make sure that you clean. Well, you can say, well, well I mean, there's lots they're of... They're dirty and they're gritty. And that's not going to be nice yeah. in a pie. And so that's why you cut it in half and you make sure you take all the dirt out. Mm -hmm. It's important. All right, I'm going to take this out. Sorry, Sam. If that's I... all right. All right. Now I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. Why are you using onions and leek? Usually you just use leek, mm -hmm. but I think I want more of an intense oniony flavour. Yep. So I use half onion, half leek. Yep. But again, if you want more of a subtle flavour, just use leeks. Okay. And that chopping's Come exceptional. It takes a little good. bit longer than just No, no, it's really good. So what we're going to do is pop them straight in with the onions. And this is going to be the base of it. So this is going to cook for another five minutes. We just want it to sweat off. Okay. Okay, so... So not colour up or...? Not colour up. What I might do is get a little bit of butter, yep. leeks and butter, match made in heaven. So I've got about 20 grams of butter here. And we're just going to allow that to soften up. So, you know, give it, give it some time, five minutes. 
Just don't get too much colour on it though, yeah. okay? We just want to sweat them off. So Sam, the leeks are nice and soft now. Yeah, perfect. And I'll get you to add that chicken. Time to put it back and in. And all those juices on the bottom of the pan because that's all flavour. Yeah. yeah. And you can see I haven't cut the chicken up too small. I want it to be a, a chunky pie. I don't want little bits and pieces. I don't like a pie no. like that. It's got to have some texture to it. Yeah. Mm. And could you also pass those Swiss brown mushrooms, yeah. which I've just quickly sautéed in the pan beforehand, and you can and see got juice in there all too, the juices. Yep. Yeah. So again, that's going all in. I think this is one of my favourite pies. I mean, I do like a beef bourg in your pie. Yeah. After that is chicken pie. I think a the key good is chicken pie. Yeah. Chunky. Chunky. It's got to exactly. be chunky. So Sammy, can you pass me some verjuice now? Coming up. So we don't need too much. Just maybe a couple of tablespoons of that. Okay. And we're just going to allow that to come to the boil, which it is now, and reduce slightly. And honestly, we are nearly ready. These are cooking nicely, your Jerusalem artichokes. Once that's cooked, we just have to mash them, and that's sure. very fast. Okay. So now I'm adding some thyme, and what I'll get you to do is pass me a little bit of that Dijon mustard here. Yep, sure. And we're going to add that straight in. Okay. And then we've got some cream there. So okay. instead of making a bechamel, I'm just using cream because I love fun. cream. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so don't, don't knock that over. So I'm just going to add that now. Okay. okay. I like the way you've cooked those leeks. You can still see the green in there as well. Yeah. I think it's like kind of highlights what's in there. It's Absolutely. not too one note. So we're going to let that bubble away. We're going to keep an eye on it. Mm -hmm. By the time that's done, our mash is going to be done. And then all we have to do is assemble our pies. Yum. Yum. So this has been cooking 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And you can see the cream that's reduced quite a lot now and you can smell the leeks and everything. Just to freshen it up, I've got some parsley here that you've chopped perfectly. Oh, thank you. And I've got some pecorino here, so I'm just going to grate that into it at this stage. So just a little bit, and you can use cheddar and all sorts of other things, but I like to put it in the mix and just a little bit of it, okay? So we're going to mix that through, okay? And here, we've done the mash, which you did just perfectly before, and you can see the potato has made a little bit starchier. Yeah, bolts okay. it up a bit, fluffs it, it up. up. Yeah. So can you get those yep. two ramekins there? And we're going to do two individual ones because me. I don't like to share. Okay. You want for you, one for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be really, really yummy. I'll just take out the bits of thyme that I've got there, okay? So what I'm going to do is just... Get a big spoonful. Yep. In like so. Yum o. Here's one. Nice. And what I might get you to do is yep. just dollop some of that Jerusalem artichoke and potato mash on mm -hmm. top. Okay. Go for it. Put you on it. So yep. now we're going to add some breadcrumbs. Yep. I've got some fresh breadcrumbs. Just over the top. Just over the top because I want this to be really, really crunchy when it comes out of the oven. Okay. So we've got that crunchiness yep. from the breadcrumbs, smoothness from the Jerusalem artichoke mash, and then of course all that chunky, rich sauce and chicken. Yeah, you don't have to talk it up to me. I oh, know. I'm, like, I'm stopped now. Let's get we'll this get in them, the oven. Yeah, get them in the <laughs> oven so we can continue. Okay, I've just made that a little bit too full there. So I'll just finish it off with this on top. And you want to do those breadcrumbs. Mm -hmm. That's looking really good. I might just get a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil just so we don't get those breadcrumbs burning. Just a little smidgen. Like so. Good. Can you put them under the grill? Sure. It's going to take about three to four minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Because don't forget, everything's cooked. We just want it to be crispy on the top. Okay, Sam, I think the pies are ready, so I'll get them out of the oven. Oh, they're looking they good. They look great. Very hot. And you can see this one I made, this and one you I made that one. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. I like it. Okay, so these are really, really hot, so I would recommend letting them sit there for just a little bit. So that's a great way to do pies using Jerusalem artichokes. If you haven't seen them before, this is what they look like. This is not ginger. 
It is Jerusalem artichokes. That's right. They look similar. Sam, thank you so much for coming in and showing us these. And, and chopping vegetables. And chopping lots of yeah. vegetables. My pleasure. But look, you've got a whole pie. I know. So let's dig in because this is going to be a really, really good pie. Alrighty. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> 